Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Prime Umar. And in this tutorial, we will model this vase in AutoCAD. I am using AutoCAD 2024. But if you are using a below version of AutoCAD or a future version of AutoCAD, you can still follow this tutorial. So we will create this vase using loft command, shell command and fillet command. I will also show you how to create sections from a 3D object as you can see in this uh, picture. So let's go to AutoCAD and uh, I'll select new and I will select this template ACAD. You can see here ACAD, select open. First of all, I will put off these grids and then I will change my workspace setting from drafting and annotation to 3D modeling. I will close this. Also, I will draw this in isometric. So I will click here. And also, I don't want this uh, UCS icon here. So just right click and uh, select this one. Show UCS icon at origin. So uh, we will draw four circles to serve as uh, profiles of this uh, loft. And the best example of uh, loft command you can see is the fuse large of uh, aeroplane where you can see different sections. So let's go to here home tab and then I will select circle center with diameter and here I will make one circle having diameter 1.5 units. Similarly, I'll go to circle command again center with diameter. I will snap its center point and then I will make another circle. This time diameter would be two. Similarly, another circle. This would be let's say 2.5 and the last circle would be 3 units. Now we will move these circles. Uh, basically we will translate these circles slightly upward. So I will select this circle. I will select this circle and I will select this circle and I will move it in the Z direction. So I will snap center point. Now you can see I cannot move uh, these circles in exactly uh, z-axis so I will put on this one ortho. Okay now uh, I need to move these circles two units so I will write two. Now I will move these two circles 1.5 so I will snap center point and uh, I will write 1.5. And then lastly, I will move this third circle 1.5 units upward. I will snap center point and uh, I will write 1.5. Okay. Now I will use loft command. So let's go to here, this drop down. I will select loft. So I will select this circle, then the second circle, then this one. And lastly, this one, and I will select enter key. Now it is asking enter an option. So I will select this one cross sections only. Your vase is created, but uh, you cannot see because you are in 2D wireframe. So I will change this visual style to this one shaded with edges. And now you can see your vase. Uh, you can change uh, background if you want, but uh, it's okay. Now we will apply some fillet onto this uh, vase. So let's go to here solid this tab. And then I will select this option fillet edge and I will select this edge. You can zoom in. I will select this edge and uh, I will choose radius and radius would be 0.25. Press enter key again. And now you can see radius feature is added to this vase. Now I will apply a shell command. So let's select shell. First, I will select this uh, 3D model and then remove face. So I will select this uh, top face of this model and I will press enter key. And now it is asking enter the shell offset distance or uh, thickness of this uh, model. So let's say thickness would be 0.2. And I will exit this and I will exit this. Now you can see your uh, vase is created. Finally, I will show you how to create a section plane. Uh, basically, this lets you uh, view both 2D and 3D sections of your model. So you can see internal structure 
of your uh, model and uh, these sections are used in uh, automotive uh, industrial applications uh, civil engineering architecture etc now we will section this uh, 3d model so let's go to here home tab and uh, first of all we have to create a section plane so first i will go to uh, one of the orthographic views so let's select this one and then i will create a section plane and now you can see section of this uh, 3d model uh, we can generate different uh, sections of this uh, 3d model so let's select this option generate section and uh, i will select this selected plane this one and then it is asking to create a 3d section or 2d section so first i will create a 3d section create and uh, here it is showing you a 3d section of this 3d model the difference between these two is when i remove this plane so my first original section that uh, you are watching on the left side will be gone okay uh, you only left with the right one uh, right section and there is no association between these two models so i will select somewhere here and then i will write in the command line one because i don't need any scaling in uh, uh, either x or uh, y axis so i will write one press enter i will write one press enter and uh, press zero because i don't need any rotation so you can see your section view you can use these section views in drawings as well similarly i will create a 2d section of this 3d model so let's go to this drop down again and select this option generate section i will select uh, section plane this one and uh, select create and now you can see your uh, section I don't need any scaling in either x axis or y axis so I will write 1 1 and then 0 and now you can see a 2d section of this 3d model I can delete this so first I need to explore these two and then I can delete this one and uh, when I remove this plane uh, when I remove this section plane so because there is no association uh, of this 3d model with this uh, 3d section or this uh, 2d section so nothing will be changed uh, as you can see I can uh, remove this uh, plane this uh, section plane I will delete it and now you can see your 3d model and you can see your 3d section I will place it somewhere here and I will place this somewhere here so you can use these uh, in your uh, drawings I also want to share a quick note and that is uh, I used to create tutorials, uh, shots on AutoCAD, SolidWorks, uh, Blender, Solid Edge, KeyShot, Katia etc. Not just for fun but to spread knowledge. I also post uh, daily quizzes and uh, engineering polls, automotive polls to enhance my knowledge and your knowledge as well. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you like this uh, short tutorial. Still if you have any question, any query regarding this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list you can ask in comment section thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects thank you